Hello, my name is Eddie, and today I'm going to talk to you about the height differences between the different new Minecraft versions. So as of Minecraft 1.18, they have increased the height limit of the game. So I'm going to show you what happens if an older version of a game joins a newer server and vice versa, and the conflictions that can happen with that. So here I have two servers. So I have one in 1.8.8 and the other in the latest as of now is 1.20.4 and then I have two games as well. So first we're going to join the 1.8.8 server and you can use a plugin called via version to make it so any version connect, can connect to any other version as long as it's above 1.7.10. So. Here are the two players, as long as we're using via version, there is no, um, there are no conflictions. Um, if I'm on the newer client and I place a block that doesn't exist in this version yet, so let's say something like this, it'll actually turn into stone. If I try to hold a item that doesn't exist yet, see, it'll turn to stone. So you're not able to use newer things because the server version is 1.8. So that doesn't exist yet. So if if I were to build to the height limit on the on the right is the 1.20 game. So right here is the height limit. So this is the height limit. So if I try to build any higher than this, right, which is 255. So once I try to place the 256th block, it will not let me. Right, and that's expected. And the same if I were to go all the way to the bottom. So the bottom of 1.8 worlds is uh, Y0. But this changes. So if we go to the latest server version, the 1.8 client is not able to build above 255. So once it's the 256th, it's not able to place. But here's where issues with maps can. This is an issue. So let's see. The 1.8 client tries to walk into a wall that's above or below the height limit. This actually happens to where they're not able to move. If you're in survival mode, this can actually cause a lot of issues with now I can't move or I'll move very, very slowly. It's actually getting rubber banded back to the position that the server wants. So there's a slight, you can see the, the stuttering, there's a slight desync. It's trying to keep up with the server, but the game doesn't is never sent a block because the actual client is not able to uh, work with blocks above or below the height limit. So I'm actually not able to jump on this block either. So I can jump down here. I can't jump on here. It actually is just the server forcing it back into a location that it likes. You could probably fix this with something like protocol lib. You could probably make a plugin that sends, um, that messes with the packets properly. So you'd be able to do things like jump on blocks up here. But for now that is very, very broken. And because it's an entity, entities can be processed at any height up to, I think the 32 bit uh integer limit i'm not sure but so because of that the running into the wall actually works at any height it doesn't matter if it's super close to the height limit or not so again there's weird bugs on the left client here where the lighting is glitched because we're too high up and then sometimes entities will disappear i'm going to go to the bottom of the world and then we can discuss how we can potentially fix these types of issues so we're at the bottom of the world now dug a hole here and dug out a little tunnel here so we're actually so far down that there are blocks in the newer version of the game as you can see on the right it's supposed to look like this this is called deep slate that do not exist in the client on the left so it actually has to the via version or the protocol lib, depending on which plugin you're using, has to translate that into something else. So 
if we were to mine it in survival mode, what it sends to the client is actually a renamed item, but internally in the server, it knows that it is actually the block. So if I look on the one on the right in the hand, it, it's proper. And if I were to drop it or place it, it knows that it's that. So that's just a uh, client side. It was nice, the, the server sending that to the client. So let's see what happens. So this red block is at Y0. So the client on the right can go way farther below zero than the one on the left can. So let's go ahead and see what happens if, let's say there's a block right there to the left of the, the red block. So there's the same thing where the player can't jump. And the player's kind of stuck being teleported back into the position that's supposed to be in. And this goes, applies to the whole thing. They're not able to mine blocks down there. They're not able to place blocks down here. They cannot interact in any way down here. So if a player were to jump down here, they would actually be stuck. So this is a big issue for compatibility between players because Minecraft has implemented so many controversial changes between all the different versions that many players choose to play on an old version. Uh, players that like to play uh, mini games or the, uh, PvP, so they like to fight other players, always play on 1.8.9 or 1.12.2. And the game is already at version 20, so that is a very long time ago. So there will be, if you host a Minecraft server, a very large chunk of players that are on 1.8. But if you want to implement new features, you actually have to deal with these height changes. So there's a data pack that exists that lets you restrict the world height, but that actually messes with ore generation and makes it so like the ores heights and things will be messed up so you can get like diamonds on the surface and stuff. And that's not balanced. The solution I have right now is playing on the last version, having the server be on the last version before the height change was implemented, which is... It's called 1.17.1 is the very last version. So you can still use via version and protocol support to translate new blocks and items and mobs and things into the older clients, but you won't have, and that works fine most of the time. You can use that in production environments that's stable enough, but things like this is just a really big issue to deal with. So 1.17.1 for servers, is fine. Ideally, what we would have is a world generation plugin that would bring back the old world generation. So from 1.17 to the latest version. So um, if anybody would, is up for that challenge, maybe I'll do some sort of commission, I'll compensate you. Uh, or if you can find a plugin or something that already does that, because I know there are already plugins that port old world gen to new versions, but it's always like the beta terrain. So I always see beta 1.7, beta 1.8, which is very, very old. So, and then there's the issue of having the naturally generated structures that are in the new version spawn in the old wor uh, world generation terrain, right? So ideally we would need a hybrid because there are items that you can only obtain in ge naturally generated structures in the new world generation right so it's so it's just the the world generation not the the structures that appear in it and the chests and all those things right so for now i'm going to have all my servers run in 1.17 and hopefully there will be a solution to these types of issues in the future yeah see because there's a creeper down there in the, the cave that the player on the left can see but the, the one on the right cannot so maybe this could be used for cave finding cheating on servers which could also be an issue for translating um, items that are in the old ver that are in the new version, if I want it to be displayed on the old one, if the user has Optifine installed, which a large amount of people do, it's a performance mod. They have a thing called MC Patcher built into it that allows items with specific names or NBT data 
to have custom textures and you would define that inside the resource pack. So you could make a resource pack that lets 1.8 players see, let's say like a netherite sword as what it is. Because if you see right now, it gets translated to a, a diamond, but it's just a renamed item client side is what the, the packet sends to the client, right? You theoretically could make a resource pack that ports all the textures, but every update you'd have to add all of the new things and that would be a nuisance. So maybe you could make a Python script or something that generates that for you and extracts the textures from the game. That might be nice. And then if it's a version above 1.14, they added something called custom model data into the game, which is basically the MC patcher, but built in. So you don't need a mod installed like Optifine. So if your game is 1.14 or newer, you can use custom model data to create custom textures for items that are renamed or have uh, NBT data. NBT data is NBT data is preferable because uh, players can actually rename items in game using an anvil, and you wouldn't want players to be able to make certain items look like other items. So NBT data is just a tiny bit of JSON that's attached on top of items in game, and those that's not editable by the players in survival mode. To do that, though, you would need to make a plugin using maybe Packet API to send different packets to different client versions and send the NBT data to so the items don't have to be manually adjusted on an item-by-item -item basis, so it would be automatic. Thank you for listening. Subscribe for more insights.